Hey survivors and thrivers. In this video I am going to be talking about the narcissist reckless behaviour. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. The Narcissist Reckless Behaviour Narcissists show a lack of care and attention to the consequences of their actions. They do things quickly and without thought or care. They often get into situations that can affect the people around them. They live a separate life that you don't know about, where they are engaging in reckless or destructive behaviours, being reckless with their bodies and putting you at risk in the process of doing this. Narcissists have poor judgement and as I said in a previous video, they neglect self-care and hygiene. They do not attend to themselves or care for themselves efficiently. They are neglectful of their physical, mental and emotional health. They do not give much attention or concern to their bodies or to their lives. If they are in relationships, they do not care about how their choices or decisions will affect their partner. Because of this, you may become involved in the same situations that they are involved in. Narcissists sleep around without protection. They do not consider the consequences of doing this. They believe that they can decipher who may have an STI and who may not. They have this magical thinking where just because they believe it in their minds, it must be a reality. Their magical thinking calms any fear or anxiety they may be experiencing in that moment and prevents them from even considering the consequences of their actions. They have this distorted way of thinking that whatever they think in their minds or however they perceive a situation to be is more valid or credible than any evidence or statistical data. So they will be reckless and impulsive with sex they will sleep around without considering the consequences. And as I said earlier, when they are in relationships, they do not consider how their choices or decisions will affect their partner. So even when they have contracted an SDI and they know about it, they might not even tell you that they know. They might continue to have sex with you, knowing that you are going to contract the SDI. I have heard from my subscribers that misogynist men or misandrous women will intentionally spread STIs. I wouldn't be surprised if by spreading these STIs, they are getting narcissistic supply. They do not care about the consequences of their actions. They do not care about how it affects you. Because of this, I would assume that narcissists are far more likely to have an SDI than anyone else. But even if we look at the general population, 
In England, every four minutes, someone is diagnosed with an STI. In the US, one in two sexually active people will contract an STI by age 25. I would assume that it is inevitable for a narcissist to catch an STI at some point in their lives. Some can be treated, others are incurable and can even cause death. Regardless of this, the narcissist will not consider how their actions may affect them or how it may affect the people they engage with. All they think about is how they are going to obtain their narcissistic supply. Sex is one of the main tools a narcissist will use to secure a new source. Narcissists are also sexually repressed, which has led them to become hypersexual. They have developed an, obs an obsession with sex. This is something they think about all day, every day. They do not think about emotional connections or the consequences of not taking pre precautions. All they are thinking about is treating their obsession and obtaining narcissistic supply. Many narcissists are bisexual. When they were growing up, they didn't receive the proper support from their parents. They were neglected or they were abused in a way that it stunted their growth, where they couldn't develop the ability to judge what is right and wrong and then act accordingly. They had poor boundaries in their childhood, which led them to have a poor understanding of what is right and what is wrong. When a child has poor boundaries, they grow up thinking that anything is okay, anything is acceptable. But they will act as though it's not a problem, it isn't a big deal. And that is one of the first signs to look for from a person who has poor boundaries. Another situation could be where the narcissist has borrowed money or they have got involved with drug dealers. They didn't pay the money back, so now these people are looking for them. They might be coming to your house and causing all kinds of problems for you. And it may, it may be a situation that you know nothing about. But because of the narcissist being so reckless, you will be involved in these types of situations. They do not care about the consequences of their actions or how it affects you. Something I've noticed from my personal experience and from watching videos on YouTube is that even narcissists who engage in gang stalking will get their relationship partners or families caught up in unfavorable situations. The narcissistic gang stalker will involve their families and even their own children in the gang stalking. Sometimes these are impulsive choices or decisions. Other times they are premeditated. Either way, the narcissist gang stalker does not consider the consequences of this behavior on their families. They don't even consider the psychological effects it may have on their children. They don't take it seriously. It will affect them. Children remember this stuff. They will especially remember how it made them feel. Children are energetically sensitive.
They get them caught up in all kinds of drama or chaos. And at first their children or relationship partners may be completely unaware of this. In these types of situations, their children or relationship partners can become secondary victims of the gang stalking. But because narcissists do not consider the consequences of their actions, or how their choices or decisions may affect the people around them, they will continue to engage in the gang stalking. They will drag their relationship partners or children around with them to orchestrate whatever scenario they are trying to create. Narcissists are very reckless with their driving. Researchers have found that participants who scored high on narcissism measures were more likely to tailgate, speed, drive off road, cross the center line into oncoming, oncoming traffic, drive on the shoulder, honk their horn, or use verbal aggression or aggressive gestures. The researchers suggested that this aggression was linked to the narcissism and the tendency for narcissists to think that their own time is precious while not considering the time of others. Narcissists believe that they deserve special treatment and tend to react aggressively in general when they do not get their way. They have no regard for the consequences of putting their lives in danger or risking the lives of other people. Narcissists only care about filling this void they have inside of them, relieving their pain or emotional distress. That comes first, before anything else, even before any potential dangerous consequences. They do not care about the consequences. Narcissists live their lives that they are invincible. And so whatever they do, whatever actions they take, nothing can go wrong for them. They believe that they are too powerful to be defeated or overcome by anything. And since they see you as an extension of them, they may expect you to be indestructible as well. They may think that whatever they do to you, or whatever dangerous situation they put you in, you will always remain intact. So they will take risks, assuming that you will always remain not damaged or impaired in any way. But that's just not reality. There are very real dangerous consequences which we can all be affected by. There is real damage or impairment that we could face following the aftermath of their actions. If you try to have a serious conversation with them about their actions or how their actions are affecting you, they will either gaslight you or just walk away. They don't want to accept reality or the truth of the situation. They don't want to deal with reality. Their reckless behavior and not thinking about the consequences is self-medicating to them. It's self-medicating for them to not take anything seriously, to not engage in any serious discussions. When a person does not deal with a serious situation efficiently, that is a red flag, flag of a narcissist. A normal, healthy person 
will always take the proper measures to correct a dangerous or unfavorable situation. A mature, responsible adult will want to confront serious issues. A narcissist might tell you that everything is going to be fine or you will work something out but they never actually develop a plan or strategy to deal with it. Narcissists have this delusional magical thinking that everything will just work itself out without them any ever taking any action to ensure that it does work out. They do not give sufficient attention or thought to avoiding harm or errors. They are not concerned or worried about the consequences of their reckless behavior. If the narcissist is engaging in these types of behaviors without considering the consequences or how it may affect you, you are not in a relationship with a narcissist. You are in a relationship by yourself. Because a relationship is about connection, relevance and association which means that what they are doing, their behaviors, should be relevant to you. You should be associated with them for a joint purpose. If the narcissist is involving you in these types of behaviors or situations which are not relevant to you and without considering how it may affect you, then you are not associated with them for a joint purpose. You are not in a relationship with them. You are alone in a relationship by yourself where you have to work everything out by yourself. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. We have a private Reddit community where survivors and thrivers can share their experiences and knowledge. If you are interested in being a part of this community, you can sign up through our Patreon page. The link is in the video description. Check out the Narcs Fiverr merchandise store where you can purchase your own Narcs Fiverr t-shirt or mug. We have a variety of designs and it is a great way to support the channel. The link to our Narcs Fiverr merchandise store is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.